The temporary diversion route for the Manzanella Mayaro Road was officially opened on Monday, restoring connectivity for surrounding areas. Sunilala has the details. The temporary Manzanella Roadway has been officially opened just one day before the beginning of the new school term. And Works and Transport Minister Rohan Sinan is promising that designs for the permanent structure is currently underway. Designs for the permanent restoration of the road are ongoing. We're hoping to have that completed by the end of January, first week in February, where we can go out then for a proper tender. Minister Sinan said steel sheets which were donated by local company National Energy help to ensure connectivity to all vehicles. When you recognize that this road is used by the oil sector, it means that the oil sector still would not have had access to the road. Because of the approach we took and not putting the Bailey Bridge, using the sheet piles and actually creating a road, there's no load restriction. And although the project cost approximately $12 million, Mr. Sinanon said there were cost savings. The savings from this job will help us to go a little further into Mayaro, and I'm sure the, the Member of Parliament will be happy to hear that. Mayaro MP Rashtan Pare also hailed a quick work by the Ministry to restore access. I must say I am delighted as the MP to have this route back open. We look forward to see what is the engineering solution um, for the main fixed. Several commuters also welcomed the quick work done by the contractors. We had to walk and swim to get to her, but now it's accessible and we can drive to her. And we're so happy and thankful for the people who did this. It's nice for everybody up here. You know, it's impossible all the time. I know it, it, it could, you know, they will use it to exit to, to go to school and go to work and, you know, everything. So I'm glad that the road opened back. The minister said TN Tech has also been asked to ensure proper lighting at night but urged all commuters to reduce speed and proceed with caution in the interim. Sonolala, TTT News. Meanwhile, Minister of Works and Transport Rohan Sinanan said there has been roadworks ongoing across the country to ensure proper access to all schools for the beginning of the new school term. Speaking to reporters on Monday, he said at least 12 projects have been ongoing in communities throughout Trinidad in time for the new school term on Tuesday. Also around Trinidad, there were about 12 schools uh, because of the rain that were challenged uh, due to landslips, road failures and so. My information is that all um, areas have been uh, worked on and there's no area in Trinidad that is cut off or affected in any way where vehicles can't traverse. Although some of the works are temporary works, we do have contractors on site to make sure that all roads remain passable while we do the permanent fix. There's a call from Member of Parliament for Kumuto Manzanilla for beachgoers to be extremely cautious. Despite the opening of the temporary diversion route along the Manzanilla stretch, MP Dr. Rai Ragbeer said there have been some agitated seas in the past few weeks. He added that following talks with government, a decision was made to keep the Manzanilla boardwalk closed until at least late January. I spoke to the Minister of National Security and the Minister of um, Tourism. The Manzanilla Beach facility might be open most likely towards the end of January. And by that time, they will have lifeguards. So right now, there are no lifeguards. So I think that people, please be careful. The waters around Trinidad are very rough. Be responsible for your life and for your safety.